All right, here we go. That is the wall where I want to put them. Above the windows there somewhere. We'll figure that part out, but uh, we got them unstrapped. Check them out. I haven't actually measured them on the ad. He said they were five by seven. I'm guessing they're five by 10, sorry. They're probably more like, I'm gonna say four by 10. But uh, you can see they kind of got that air gap layer in there. And then there's the hot box behind there. So. I'm gonna unload these and hopefully we can just give it a temporary test yet today. All right, now you can get a better look at it there. Those little circles in there are just to keep it as a spacer to the hot box behind it there. This last one you can tell is definitely uh, needs a little bit of TLC. It's a little flimsier and the insulation on the back isn't so good, but I'm gonna hook up the leaf blower and see what kind of temps it's doing just now because I'm curious. Okay, I just got it temporarily propped up. It's somewhere around two o'clock in the afternoon. It's an exceptionally warm day, seeing as how we're at the end of November. It should be minus 15, but we're actually probably at about plus four. So this will look better than uh, we think, but just propped up. Got the leaf blower in there. I'll turn it on on low. I got my little temperature gauge there. I'll throw in there and we'll see what kind of temperature we get. Definitely feels good and warm. Warmer than I'd want it to be in the house. It'll take a bit for it to crack. But thought it would have gone much higher than that. And that's just the probe sitting in the middle, not touching anything. It's just the ambient air that's that temperature. Okay, now I'm uh, now I'm really excited about this. This is gonna be a fun project and I did not expect it to get to 40 degrees. It was still slowly climbing, but it definitely slowed down at that point. It is, like I say, it's about plus four today. So, but either way, a 40 degree temperature change is about 36 degrees, I guess. Uh, yeah, we're gonna figure out how we're gonna plumb it into the wall there and how we're gonna mount them on the wall. So the gentleman I bought these from, he lived in Winnipeg and was uh, just refacing his house and everything, didn't suit the neighborhood anymore, he was getting rid of them. He had many great stories of how much heat they put out, he said, but uh, he said he had them all linked in series, so it was just one fan that blew through all of them. I'm not sure how you would duct them together without having exposed piping to the cold air outside. Um, I'm planning on just using two on there and I'll maybe put one on my ice shack but uh, the only way they will fit because obviously I don't have 10 feet from the top of the window to under my eave uh, I'll have to put them horizontally and then it'll fit in between the lights so when I built this it's a garage package so the doors are framed 
Uh, so that's why the lights are spaced like they are for 10 by 8 doors. So it should exactly fit having one panel in between each set of lights. Uh, unfortunately, then I'll have to have two separate fans to blow through them rather than one. They even have the uh, thermal couples in the back of them so that that's what controls when there's sun that it'll actually turn the fan on. So I'll have to test them, make sure they work, but this is, uh, I think this is going to be a huge benefit.